So I'm going to do a uh, minimalist program. It's basically going to just have the uh, <clears throat> the ring push-ups and uh, dips and uh, pull-ups slash chin-ups, however you want to say it. Um, also some single hand, single arm, one arm clean and jerks. <clears throat> I'm going to start by doing low reps and do hit training basically <clears throat> about a minute between each one um, uh, I ate a little bit ago so hopefully that won't affect my uh, affect me too much so I guess we'll find out okay we're gonna start with two blocks. Also, uh, <clears throat> sometimes I just go about 30 seconds in between uh, <clears throat> exercises, and it's uh, not that big of a deal. And as I get more tired, um, I take and put about a minute between each exercise. So as long as your heart, when you work out, spikes a little and comes down, but not all the way down to resting. So it goes up and then down, up, down, but not to resting. I did a wide, wide grip right now, uh, in fact I'm going to move you, I can see, see me do the uh, supinated chin ups from here. so hard to set them up <laughs> okay so this is 20 40 45 50 55 60 and I'm gonna do start out by doing a couple reps each one like three reps probably each arm <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
side. Another angle. Actually, I don't think you can see push ups there. This one and this one, so my feet will go from here to here. This one I'm going to do uh, regular, about this, not the wide, but regular is a change up. doing three reps at a time right now so I'm just coming back from I haven't worked out in a little bit uh, I had COVID uh, gonna warm me out a little bit so that's why I went back down to three reps and start over <laughs> Instead of being this far away this time, I'm gonna go a little bit farther for this um, supinated chin up. Okay, go back to the uh, clean and jerk. Yeah, that one was thir uh, 60 pounds. This one is uh, 25, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So 80 pounds on this one.
three small bricks. The reason I like uh, ring push-ups so much is uh, uh, not only can you uh, adjust the uh, rings various heights, but you can uh, put something under your feet and do the same thing. Uh, you can do flies if you're strong enough. I'm not quite strong enough to do more than like two or three. Uh, so I do, basically I move like it is a, um, a dumbbell bench. So I just go like this. And uh, when I start low with my feet low, it's hitting the right in the middle and the bottom of the pecs and of course the triceps. But like, uh, as far as like, as I elevate my feet, it, it directs it not only the middle, but also the top. And so do you, and then I've, as you go from here to here, it builds the center of your pectorals, so it's uh, an excellent exercise. I like it a lot. I'm going to do a neutral grip, uh, chin up, or pull up, however you want to say it. It's a little bit of a wide one, but it'll work. I like the uh, sup supinated chin-ups because it helps uh, build the bicep peak and then chin-ups in general help build the forearm so it's pretty good, pretty good exercise. <clears throat> I'm going to do a palms out supinated chin-up like this. Not much of a difference from here, but it's something. I always change it up, do one set each way. And then on other days, I'll do like five to seven sets just like this. I won't change them. Um, I just, you know, go change things up when I want to. And then if I haven't been doing, if I haven't been gaining any reps or I haven't feeling, felt an improvement, I'll change it up exercise program so so I'm doing about that far between the thumbs okay. I'm gonna go over to Clean and jerk again. I'm gonna do a 90 pound dumbbell. <clears throat> so 
25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Uh, so I went 60, 80, and then I jumped to 90. It's a little bit less, so it helps me adapt a little bit. If it's a, a large jump towards the end, it's uh, more difficult to get that, you know, uh, that strength and the alignment and the balance right. So I don't know how well I'm going to do today. So. do singles singles on each one and do another one on this one and on this one so there's two reps total but one rep at a time <clears throat> yeah After push ups. more block It's in there good. No, it's not. I'm gonna put this down. Man, this kind of sucks. I have to go back over here, I guess. Thing about dips too when you're doing dips and your hips all three heads of the tricep uh, so the long and short uh, heads and the median head so uh, you'll get all of that plus you build the bottom of your pecs helps bring them the pecs down okay I'm gonna go uh, baseball I do all my for baseballs. Make sure that it's in the video. Nope. <laughs> I'm not winning today. Maybe one day, huh? Okay. So. 
as I was saying, I uh, do chin-ups off these baseballs, and I put them right here. I mean, obviously it'd be easier here, but these aren't really getting a workout. So when you do them like this, it helps build the grip. So uh, here we go. This one's always uncomfortable because I have a bone to put right here on the middle finger. This has helped my grip a lot. <laughs> and I hold. I don't need to find a, another supinated one just simply because uh, when I start and I turn, it's still building a lot of the bicep real hard, so um, I don't got to stress about it. Now, this one is going to be the 100 pound dumbbell. So, a quick review 60, 80, 90s. 90, I should say, and this is 100. So I'm just gonna do one rep, one rep, and I'm gonna see what I got on the 150s after I do a couple more other sets. So if I can even do a 150, I haven't been able to do one yet. So my best is 140. Actually, this is a 145 right here. The only problem with doing a lot of um, uh, sets is I forget where I'm at and like this, I can't remember if I just added these or, or not. So I'm gonna add three more. <laughs>
dips. Um, for this chin-up exercise, this one I'm going to do, uh, it's called an Australian chin-up. And uh, basically you're going laterally. You're going to be, so feet up, toes pointed at the sky. Um, it builds pretty much the same thing. The exercise the same way. So I think the only difference is it helps strengthen the core better because you're laterally. So go ahead and do these. Move you. Let's see if I can even touch this 150. Wish me luck. I'm excited actually about it. It's actually 145. I keep calling it 150, but. One of the plates is actually a 20 instead of a 25. So this is a 20. I know it's a little bit off and it may or may not mess with me. I don't know yet. And then balance part of it. Because sometimes it should be fine with the heavy part down and the lighter part on top should be fine. But I guess we'll find out. Plus all of my uh, all of my uh, handles, my grips, have a uh, PVC pipe. It's a one and a quarter inch PVC. Um, so, this is going to be two inch squares. I hope that will make sense either. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Uh, it's a little bit when when you have a little bit of a a grip, an extra thickness, it helps with the uh, grip. And then the good thing about the dumbbell when you when you do a clean when you're doing a cleaning uh, movement, you're building up your wrist like as like a sledgehammer when you do a leveraging, and so you're pulling up or you're doing a a hammer curl type thing. Only it's under you know you're going faster. It's an acceleration lift. So. Uh, my form is obviously not a perfect form or, you know, I'm not even, I'm probably not even close to doing it right when it comes to uh, like an Olympic style person. Olympic lifters are like way beyond, you know, what I can do. So, but this exercise, the clean and jerk is, you know, you can do singles if you don't have multiple dumbbell sets. Like, um, I like to usually, uh, usually like to do. 50s then 60s then 70s 80s 90s and then 100s and I do doubles and uh, But after I herniated my neck and my thoracic the best I could build up to was 90s and I haven't been able to break 90s yet with TIG together um, Single arm I've gotten 120 120 over my arm with over my head and uh, with both arms and uh, That's it so <clears throat> I'm gonna see where I got with 150 so 145. <laughs> Let's 
Nope, not quite. <sighs> no, I can't do it. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna see if I can do a pair of 80s real quick. I'll see where I'm at with the uh, hundreds real quick. Yeah. Just after my hit training. Probably ain't gonna be very good. 